subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Welcome to the new Puttewari show. And today we have with us that special actor who dissed Karina Kapoor at Jab We Met. Yeah, it sounds negative, right? Yeah, it sounds negative, but he's a wonderful human being and he's a, you know, wonderful actor. If I say wonderful, you know, if there is anything more than that, because you, I know that you all have watched the movie and you understood how well he played that role, that negative role. So with big applause, let's welcome Mr. Tarun Arora. Thank you. Namaste, Thank Tarun. you. For, Thank you for having me on your show. You know, it's a pleasure. Well, thanks. Thanks. And thanks to all my audience. I'm really grateful to you all. Thanks to a movie like Jumpy Met, you know, it comes once in a lifetime and a character, whatever came my way. Thanks to God. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Nupurta. Exactly. Actually, yeah, though the entire world, especially India, is going through a very tough period at this time. And, you know, someone from your family, someone, even extended family, you can find out that they are you know, affected by COVID. And it's a very sad situation, but life has to go on and we have to support each other, whatever way possible. And we have to bring smile on faces too. Right, Tarun, what do you think? I, I totally agree with you. Yes, right now India is suffering and we need to help each other. We need to believe in each other. There's no other way. We have to really take precautions, pray to God. And, you know, do our best. That's what we can do at the moment. Exactly. So everyone, um, on behalf of everyone, you're all the fans. I would like to ask you, like, how it happened Jab we met? And how did you play that well, that role, that negative role? You know, you know, uh, Anupur, if I tell you, I call myself Destiny's Child, you know. I had actually been disappointed with Bollywood. And I had left Bombay when Jabbi met happened to me. I was in Bangalore and I had kind of lost hope because I actually did a very good innings as a model. I did quite a lot of modeling. The idea was to get into acting. Things happened that I didn't have, I shouldn't blame anybody. Usually if you kind of have somebody like a godfather who can tell you which projects to take, which projects not to take when your career just starts, so I made a lot of mistakes picking up career, uh, picking up projects. Today, if I look back, they were not mistakes. They were lessons which I learned. Somebody paid for it. I got groomed on that. At that time, it felt was a mistake. People, I realized people will not use me because of the films, what I had done. And then I actually came back to Bangalore and I started doing restaurant because I had studied hotel management and I wanted to do something else and I realized there's more to life than, you know, modeling and acting. You need to do something. And that's when Jab We Met happened. And my attitude towards that film was exactly like Anshuman. When somebody called me from the office and said, hi, director Imtiaz Ali wants to meet you. And I was like, who's Imtiaz? I don't know Imtiaz. Why should I come there and stand there? Can I send you, send you my showreel? So they said, okay, send your showreel then. So, you know, things happened in such a way. I went and met Imtiaz. Also, directly from the airport, I went to his office holding a bag in my hand. And when Imtiaz was trying to do, like, you know, trying to make me comfortable, I was saying, Imtiaz, please, please, please don't talk anything like, you know, I have a flight at two o'clock. Tell me why you called me. If I work out, I do, you know, I'm here. Otherwise, I need to leave. So Imtiaz could just see this is, this is Anshuman telling Karina, I don't have time for you. I have to go back. I think that was my audition. And this is the first film I signed in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, Imtia saw so this guy doesn't have time. This is my Anshuman who doesn't have time for me. He is leaving right now. I have to stop him. 
So he said, this is your movie. Just within 15 minutes, he said, you are on the movie. And I was like, I am on. What? I was like, I was like pinching myself for a couple of seconds, but just kept quiet, was trying to sink in. Didn't realize till then that this movie is going to become so big. So when I went there, I was a little bit, you know, it had been some time. I had not acted. I had done some really, really uh, not, you know, bad films as such. When you are at that stage of your life, nothing is bad. You know, you're learning, you're excited about things. You don't know how the audience takes. And you also don't understand what producers are doing. Producers are making a couple of lakhs into, you know, crores. They are putting you in front and they are making all the money. You don't even get anything. It's just an experience you are getting. Money-wise, you are just getting a chance, thinking this will make you, you know, and they are, they are taking out everything from a talented person, but you don't get anything. And then you realize that you are nowhere in this world and you're just standing alone and the industry has taken every juice out of you. And that's the time when I took a pause. Jab we met happened, I was just, that's the time I started observing things. I started realizing what is good and what is bad. And I realized I had done all the films which were not in par of, you know, what they call filmmaking. And this is where I understood filmmaking. And I could see myself, Imtiaz was a great mentor. I definitely have to give it to him for supporting me whenever I felt a little low in front of the stars. Because the kind of attention they pull in, you feel very low at that time. And it can make any normal person feel really low about himself. But... Imtiaz kept holding my hand and just said, dude, you have it. I know you have it. Go ahead. You'll do it. You'll... So I think that confidence from him kept me going. And then I did the film. I had a great feeling about this film. And when it released, I didn't know that, you know, the audience is going to like me so much. But uh, I had this mixed feeling. And I kept feeling whenever somebody would come and tell me, hey, you did an awesome job, I would feel a little bit mm, ashamed that, oh shit, you know, that would look at Patte, they all the galis are coming to me and he's saying, good job. I was like, okay, thank you. But then, yeah, so, you know, it just reassured me that I had space in the industry and I myself had no idea that I have. So I, you know, went back to Bangalore. People kept telling me that this is the time, come back to Bombay, start your career again. I wasn't sure. I said, I won't get a film much better than this again, you know. And if I go ahead and do any film right now, it's they are just going to take out the juice out of this film and kill Anshuman totally. And I said, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to little prepare myself and come back. So that is when I was, I did a little theater in Bangalore. I started preparing myself in a way I wanted to have a little strong background so I could say no to bad films. So I took 13 years to come back. So 13 years I have been just kind of preparing myself. So what you see today is, yes, and luck has definitely and destiny has played a great role. I got offered for a South Indian film only by a Facebook picture. And that was my comeback where I realized somebody from South India is looking at me and he wants me to play a bad guy. I said, this is what I want to do. I really want to do this. So I kind of, you know, put all my energies together. And I said, I want this. I'm actually, if I tell you, Nupur, I don't stay in Bombay. I live in Goa, actually. So I'm not even connected to South. I'm not even connected to uh, Bollywood. I'm staying right now with my terms. And, you know, life has just told me, what is yours is yours. You don't have to, you know, be somewhere to be there. It will chase you. And what's not yours, what's not coming your way, don't even think about it. So it will never be yours. So what is yours will find your way. What is not yours will never be yours. So don't even worry about it. So that way I sit down and I'm very peaceful. And when you're peaceful, I think things happen. That is actually what I wanted to say, that you are at peace. You are peaceful, totally. You are not chasing I anything. I am not chasing anything at the moment. I'm just chasing peace, happiness, love. Looking at this whole uh, world right now, you know, collapsing in his own way with this virus. I sometimes, uh, you know, feel very sad. And it's not that, uh, you know, when we, we as human, we have seen this side. We have seen this side happening. We have seen what is going to happen in future with our resources. But we don't, we don't act till the time it happens to us. You know, we are just thinking, okay, yeah, pass hai. And 
right now if i i should i feel that you know whatever is happening if mankind doesn't learn from it when will we learn when will we learn so do we deserve this you know are we ourselves asking for this and then saying what is happening so there's a lot of questions in me in that way but being some way away from this industry and the pressure of you know not being part of anything or something you i'm just right now just focusing on myself trying to see you know if you are strong you can help if you are weak what would you do so the idea is be yourself strong make your pillar strong and when time comes you yeah, play your part exactly very rightly you, you have said so uh, you said that i don't know where i belong you are in goa now and you are working for south indian movies and uh, mm. definitely as you uh, said earlier that you are a punjabi boy but you were born and raised in assam so i think you belong to entire india i totally call myself like how sunny deol says na main indian hu i full with this main indian hu baba i go to i also want to tell, i go to different parts parts i born in assam i was always known as an outsider i went to chennai to study i was known as an outsider i went to bangalore to study i was known as an outsider i came to bombay it was more metropolitan everything was fine we never felt that way i came to goa i've been made to feel an outsider i just keep telling my own friends indian friends guys if we are going to play this divide and uh, divide ourselves people are going to rule us they have ruled on us playing this game what are you all doing we live with each other maybe we have different you know languages and different kind of religions which we have been but we are together we are indians come on you know we might live in different countries also but we don't forget ourselves as being an indian so why are we doing this to each other at so many times as an artist i do Beng- like right now i'm doing a bengali film i've done a malayalam film i've done a tamil i've done assamese then how do you call somebody an outsider when as an artist you are performing all around you can't tell somebody that you are an outsider so you know it's very sad i think this is something we should make a notice Exactly. Everything. Very rightly you said. I notice everywhere when you go from uh, your state to different state, they call you outsider. Actually, yeah. the entire India is yours. How could you be outsider? Right. Yeah, exactly. No, we should definitely make this point. If sometimes it happens that we don't realize certain things, awareness is very important. Some awareness, if put together, I'm sure some people will realize that we are Indians. We are not outsiders to each other. एक्चुअली इसको मैं थोड़ा सा हिंदी में बोलना चाहूंगी क्योंकि जो लोग आज देख रहे हैं ये एपिसोड प्लीज ऐसे करना बंद कर दीजिए क्योंकि अगर हम ऐसा ही करते रहे ना फिर जैसे हम रूल किए थे ब्रिटिश ने उसके पहले टर्क ने या कोई भी आउटसाइड फोर्स आके हमारे ऊपर रूल किए थे ऐसा ही होने वाला है अगर हम यूनाइटेड नहीं हुए तो एज इंडिया यू नो इंडिया शुड बी इंडिया यू कॉल इट इंडिया और भारत बट इट शुड बी शुड बी यूनाइटेड एंड कोई आउटसाइडर है नहीं कोई बहिरागत नहीं है बाहर से कोई नहीं आ रहा है पूरा इंडिया आपका है पूरा इंडिया हमारा है आप चाहे गोवा में रहो आप चाहे पंजाब में रहो आप चाहे बंगाल में रहो या कश्मीर में रहो प्लीज ये अपने दिमाग में बिठा लीजिए ये अपने दिमाग में बिठा लेंगे तो बाहर के फोर्स हमारे ऊपर रूल नहीं कर पाएंगे बस ये बिनती है हम लोगों हम लोगों का आप लोगों से प्लीज ऐसे ट्रीट मत कीजिए so actually and i feel uh, that people will understand slowly will be actually the because of uh, social media i feel yeah it is playing a good role and bad role as well you know spreading lot of hatred and uh, definitely it is helping also as you said that you got your through facebook you got your the uh, offer of your south indian I, movie it's a boon it can be used how you want to use it you can use it either way it gives you both the options exactly exactly but this is the thing actually uh, me personally it, it is you uh, know any question i ask uh, to my guest this is all my personal questions you know so uh, other day i was asking people are asking why didn't you ask those kind of questions always i feel like these question i have personally so i just you know feed <laughs> my no, own yeah, yeah i totally no worries these are fine as i said we talk very soulfully to each other exactly so 13 years मतलब अंशुमान से आज से जो तरुण है खुद को 13 इयर्स यू जस्ट गेव योर सेल्फ 13 इयर्स सो 13 इयर्स व्हाट डिड यू डू इन 13 इयर्स 13 इयर्स यू नो आई एम आई वेंट टू अर्न मनी बट आई केम रिच विद एक्सपीरियंस दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंड 
that is what happened i i didn't make money but i came really rich with a lot of experience i understood what life is i understood what the way the world is going i was so you have to understand my life i come from a i was i might i don't think so. i'll just tell you a little bit about my i'm born as a punjabi in assam i because um, uh, my this is so wrong i'm sorry to i'm sorry to disturb you this is the thing actually should not happen i know i'm born as a bengali in tamil nadu i'm born yeah. as an indian in tamil I'm nadu but no, you know no, for us to understand uh, you are culture. right you are totally right i'm talking about all the viewers i'm telling all the viewers let's take this, you know this way like <laughs> otherwise we just let's not discriminate this is discrimination this is racism actually we just say like i'm an indian punjabi born in assam yeah so make it more little you know so but you know just to make you understand the culture how it is so it was always a culture kind of thing for me when i'm i'm born there so i don't have anything when you know something like how we have hot blood punjabi culture which you're born that side so i am more on a more subdued more on this kind of lifestyle looking everybody is so humble their language is so sweet so that's my background and then i started playing table tennis ping pong became my sports in when i was a kid and i played really well and i played even represented assam and at time i played i uh, went playing for i got india number 8 for sub juniors and so tt was something which taught me to become street smart taught me to go out of out of assam and see lots you know so that's how i started exploring and assam was disturbed because of uh, certain uh, you know things because of bodo and alpha so my parents were not comfortable and they put me up in a boarding in chennai so my schooling has happened in chennai and then i went because i used to play good tt i didn't find uh, chennai so interesting because my boarding didn't have much facilities to play tt so i was trying to run away from there any time so i finished my schooling there and the thing i found out bangalore was really good so i went to bangalore and i started i tried to find admission in college realized that getting admission in college is really difficult in bangalore but sports helped me to get admitted in one of the best colleges so i studied there and i did my i started playing table tennis there and then people started asking me why don't you model i said yes i would like to model but how do we model so that question led me to modeling and then i did modeling as a pocket money and got a lot of exposure in bangalore doing small small fashion shows and then i realized i have to join a pageant acting was there in my mind but i knew i can only get into acting through modeling because i had no other godfather or anybody to guide me so i decided to join a pageant called gladrax i came first run as a in, uh, in gladrax and that's how i entered bombay and i did you'd be surprised i did 16 years after that on the modeling only modeling 16 years in bombay surviving surviving through modeling was not easy but i survived i did lots of ramp i only thing it happened is i didn't know how to market my name lot of i would have done so many ads people would have seen me but they don't know who that guy is but today when if i rewind back the video oh it was you in that ad so you know they because you come from that you were because you knew you had to make a living so you're doing your ads you you didn't know how to market yourself and social media was not there that time we were freelance uh, models we would go to each photographer's studio give a picture tell him that we'd like to work with him and that's how would build a pr it was like one to one it wasn't like sitting down in a computer sending your folios to agency agencies helping for you we were just freelancers working taking a train in bombay going for an audition by the time we reach there we are looking at ourselves saying what audition are we going to give i'm sweating my hair is looking like a mess and your confidence goes from 100 to 0 directly looking at yourself but these are the times you know how you grind yourself and these you have to do this too you know when you are not from the industry so these experiences take you but uh, and then slowly as i said uh, did lot of bad films which happened my way bad films are these are not bad films as i said these were like low low production films they you know the at the end they are entertaining they are entertaining an audience but their means of entertaining and style is different so 
we were young we took that as a challenge did it saw the repercussions of it and then understood what is good and bad and times and now yeah, yeah it's good now you now as i said now the experience tells and now you know what to do and what not to do. exactly so uh, what you said i know according to your experience i can see that you need a godfather in bollywood you definitely need a godfather you need a godfather for sure to at least help you out that you know there are decision makings because it's like when we used to do ad they were just a one minute ad this is a two hours movie you are taking a decision your face has been sold anything wrong it's they are not going to blame it on the director or the producers who made you do that it's your face you did it so at the end that's what so many directors you will not even remember but you remember the actor but you don't understand the actor is doing it because this is what he's been told he's been told a vision but when you see it totally they are they are selling to an actor one vision and they have a different vision to sell but this is the industry you know you have to go through all kind of to you this is basically what i say is grinding today when i sit here i said if i would have got that grinding i wouldn't have been as smart to select my friends now because i would have again got lost because everybody is making a great movie whoever is making a movie is basically it's their baby so they are for them it's the best movie you know so but then you understand that for me i put myself ek mai ek ek usme hindi mein bolta hu mai jangal mein ghum raha tha sab janwar ko sochta tha sab mere jaise hi honge you know not realizing ki sher hai wahan pe saap hai usko mat chhu thoda dur se to sabko gale milne chala jata tha to usme kya hota tha ki एक अभी सांप ने भी एक बार डस दिया कभी शेर ने भी पंजा मार दिया तो फिर लाइफ में तुमको सीखने को मिल जाता है कि भाई जंगल में हो जानवर हैं संभल के रहो कौन कब कहा से आ जाएगा तो अपने आप यू नो नो नीड ऑफ मेकिंग नॉइस बी साइलेंट एंड मेक योर वे ज्यादा हल ज्यादा ना ज्यादा दिखाओगे नजर में आओगे और तुम यू नो थिंग्स विल नॉट बी एज गुड एज वॉट यू वॉन्ट सो इट्स लाइक दैट दीज आर स्मॉल स्मॉल एक्सपीरियंसिस वॉट यू नो awareness awareness Actually, i keep saying you said they could not market yourself because i think uh, because of your own character because you are very humble and you did not do like the you know uh, when it is coming uh, i'm not really pointing out someone and i'm saying when coming from a you know film families or the movie makers uh, you know their kids they they know how to how to yeah, do the they know how to present yeah. totally i agree with you उनके तो घर में जब वो बचपन से बैठे हुए हैं डाइनिंग टेबल में यही बातें चल रही होती हैं तो उनको पता होता है हमारे वहां पे तो हम हमारे पेरेंट्स के साथ तो हमको पहले तो शर्म आती है कि बोलने की कि मैं एक्टर बनना चाहता हूँ बोले ये क्या हो गया तेरे को पागल हो गया है मतलब मतलब देर एक्शन में मम्मा मैंने पिक्चर देख ली सपना देख लिया उसमें हेमा मालनी आ गई माई गॉड वो तो मतलब माई डे मैंने एक दिन गलती से ऐसे बोल दिया होगा घर में माई मॉम एंड डैड तो टुक द पिस आउट ऑफ मी की क्या हो गया इसको हेमा मालनी नजर आ गई है फिर so after that so i kept telling them only ki matlab ki mujhe kabhi actor banna it was all deep inside but people kept telling me i would go on a journey somebody would would meet me and say abey tere ko to actor banna chahiye main i you know that andar mein bachpan se kahin se keeda dalte rehte ho dalte rehte ho magar aapko nahi pata aapke parents ne kabhi aapko motivate nahi kiya magar baki log ne aapko hamesha motivate karte rahe ki are tere ko to banna chahiye tera so i said yaar bante kaise hai ye to batao word agar banenge but hai magar aaj agar you see the journey has been very interesting lot of experiences upar niche i would like to suggest you to write a book on that because i think what i, I see tarun you know from uh, mm-hmm. i think from last two years i know i have been watching your post and the way you lead your life such a humble such a wonderful life you lead you know without you know nobody yeah so i think these experiences will help many the what you have experience Yeah, well, let time come. I'm just right now started. I have not been in anywhere. I'm just trying to learn so much, achieving. My just journey started last Sev. I think right now I came back to Goa after from doing whatever I did in Bangalore. I just realized where my roots were, and I just put my energy saying that he I put 18 years in this industry, and where am I trying to you know do things where my roots? I'm trying to start to put my roots again. It's gonna take a lot of time. you know i need to go back and then also sometimes your self realization you need to know you where do you belong when you are young you might you know you kind of give your energies in lot of places thinking ye materialize hoga ye hoga wo hoga but aapka passion bhi dekho aap itne saal se kis passion mein jeete aaye ho kaun sa cheez aapke andar dala hai 
तो मगर अगर ऐसा होता है तो नुपुर गॉड भी हेल्प करता है जैसे डेस्टिनी मैंने बोला मैं बैंगलोर में बैठे बैठे एक साउथ पिक्चर आ गई वो ता, वो तमिल पिक्चर और आपको भी समझना चाहिए लक और टाइमिंग भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अभी आपका एज इस एज में आ गए हो आप की स्टोरीज लिखी गई है इस कैरेक्टर के कारण और आप अभी फिट हो रहे हो उसी कैरेक्टर में नहीं तो आप पहले अगर ये स्टोरीज लिखी होती तो आप फिट ही नहीं हो रहे थे ना सो ऑल टाइमिंग हैज टू मैच विद एवरीथिंग तो यू कैन से एंड लक टाइमिंग एंड एग्जैक्टली व्हेन थिंग्स हैव टू वर्क आउट ना सब मतलब एक साथ एक जगह में आके मिल जाए तो मेरे साथ मैंने वो भी होते हुए देखा है अभी मतलब मैं देख रहा हूं कि ऑफ लेट मैंने अपनी एनर्जीज जब डाली एक साथ और उसके बाद मैं अपने आप को फोकस करने लगा and then i gave my best to this south film getting into a character theater helped me to polish me all the experience of the past what i had i kept telling i kept telling myself dude these guys might be actors they must have done great work but the amount of experience you have in front of the camera kisi ke paas hi nahi hai itne saalon ka experience tere paas hai usko use kar so that what helped me to come in south without knowing the language trying to understand dialogue bolne se nahi shakal action expression sab kuch andar le aa let the dialogue will happen later pehle tu character mein ghus ja uske baad tu khelte rahe and i saw it just kept happening i kept getting inside the character i just kept taking everything blank and i just kept going forward and i kept seeing later for me it's working so it's just working that way no pur and i've been just happy that i'm just getting into that zone I know I don't know what they are speaking with me. Are they saying bad about my acting or whatever? Because I don't know their language, but I take it as a positive thing, and I'm just getting and just doing it. I can that I can see that energy. You know, I can see that passion now that you are totally into that. Now you are saying I am going to play this innings one more time. <laughs> Definitely. I am playing this now very seriously, and I have I have long plans for myself now. early i was little bit lost but now i know where i am that's right wonderful now, yeah right now i'm very lucky i got i'm getting to do a bangladeshi turkish production film wow we are shooting a bangladeshi film with a very very uh, you know interesting film uh, joint collaboration it is so it's another experience to do a little international work also and then south is going fine and i feel as for actors now because of this web series has come in there is lot of space for lot of new actors and actors. so i think there is no you don't need to feel insecure every actor has a space and every actor if work if he works hard definitely there is lots of work for them you know it's there is right now i can definitely guarantee all these actors you just have to be serious just polish your craft and there is lot of work right now especially at this time of whatever is going to happen uh, the industry is changing because of this ott platform wonderful so, wonderful yeah you are totally right we would love to know your future project the project you are working with is we would love to watch all those movies so if you can just tell the name yes. of the movies right, right now my movie which is yet to release is a telugu film called city mar city mar yeah, yeah city mar and i play the bad guy as uh, so you would see a very uh, different i play a cop and i play it's a basically like trying to play a cop as a dabang dabang okay. guy and uh, there is a other character which my director kept talking about which is anyway it's not it's not much known but it's a great actor's work so we have this kind of character where i play so i like it's a good film i'm waiting for it and i'm doing this uh, B- bangladeshi film which i said uh, which is a joint production right now i am also uh, you know after many years i thought anshuman story needs to be told you know what happened to anshuman did he find his geet is he happily married so i'm kind of working on that right now as uh, with the team to kind of if i could get that story and tell people that so something and that's we're eagerly waiting to know yeah so that is something which i have uh, in my mind and i'm kind of a little bit excited about to tell that story at the moment so that's something which is my one of my projects with that. in future and lined up wonderful actually for the viewers i would like to say tarun actually doesn't give interviews and it i really had to tell him that no please come so he doesn't yeah, do all these things you didn't thank much mukul but yeah i know i've also been seeing your post and i've been seeing how you've been trying to help people and you've been positive you put in your 
you know positive energies in all your you know shows and your talks great work keep going i'm sure you in japan doing so much for india sitting out there so guys also hats off to nupur bless you thank you so much thank you so much and suman and suman <laughs> tarun sir i like and suman like, is coming <laughs> Because we are really a... waiting for the Ansuman second. What really happened to him? So that's why. I hope so. Yes, yeah. Crossing it will happen. Yes. It will happen. Keep the faith. Definitely, it will happen. <laughs> everything is going to happen. You know, because time has come. Time has come. Everything will fall in place. Don't worry about thank anything. <laughs> thank you. So thank you for giving your time and uh, making it possible. And I'm sure the viewers are. going to enjoy this talk and definitely it is going to be great and i'd love to have you again with your future project with the all stories because today we did not did not talk about your fitness thing so we'll yeah, do talk about it again we'll have more take care definitely thank you take, take care. care and namaste namaste i see you. subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update